Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Madcap Mosaic, a roguelike deck builder that is out now on Steam that I'm very curious to try. It looks wild, and it seems to be from the pitch I got in the email from the developer that it is very much going for a mechanics forward kind of approach, and it is doing some different things in the roguelike deck builder space. That is, oh my god, that is something I'm very curious about. I love it when a game is mechanics forward. Sometimes when a game has, you know, not like, as the, as the developer puts it, let's say triple A polish visuals, uh, when it doesn't have triple A polish visuals, sometimes it makes me more confident that the mechanics are gonna be strong. Not always, the, not always the case. It's definitely not always the case, but hopefully it is today. We will see if we find an undercover gem on Steam today. Left clicking will move you as indicated by the cursor. WASD and the arrow keys will move as well. Your turn ends and you trade damage with the enemies the, with the enemy if you have no moves remaining. Okay. Pay close attention to the incoming damage arrow. You need to minimize the damage taken. Hover over the tiles for a reminder of what they do. After each fight, you will choose at least two tiles to remove from your mosaic, and you will okay, and you'll select new ones afterwards. Okay. Let me just turn this up a little bit here. All right. I feel like it'll add to the. <laughs> it really will add to the experience. All right. Okay. Sword hit for five. So this is this is us. I saw at the beginning that you can get unlocks for changing the visual of what your tile looks like and everything. This is just what we start with looking like. Uh, shield save for five. So you're gonna do eight damage to me. So we'll do like, okay. So right now you're doing th three. Enemy offense, when the turn ends, you take damage equal to this number minus your defense. So my defense is currently five. We're taking no damage now. I see, but we've now revealed... Okay, we have six movements. Oh, this is... This is definitely new. Fog does nothing. So we're gonna... Okay, and we want to make sure we move in a spot. Oh, God. Okay, all right. I'm already... This is already curious. Move in a spot where we will be by something good next turn. We maybe want to do a little bit of reveal. Uh, we probably don't want to go too close to, like, a situation where we won't have a lot of good moves next turn. That being said, am I really going to take eight damage? Oh, no, the turn, the turn shuffled over. Okay, I missed it. The turn shuffled over. Okay. We took damage. We dealt damage. All right. Outgoing damage, minus five. Taking in five. One, two, three. You receive zero damage. Okay, so the turn has shifted over now. Do we only have three moves until this happens? Ah, I think that'll, that'll be the case. I was kind of hoping we'd find a shield there. The thing is, if you have 14 health, if I attack first, does that mean something? Kind of. Okay. Pick two tiles to change. Is Wait. Is this... Does this stay the same? Is this the same layout every time? So we get to change the tiles on the map. Select new tiles for your mosaic. You must pick from tiles that are adjacent to a yellow bordered tile. As a new player, focus on tiles you can reach this turn. Select new tiles for your mosaic. You must pick tiles that are adjacent to yellow border tile. Gotcha. So we get a random tile, but we can move towards... Oh my God, look at us. Is that us up there? Uh, okay. So these are all the different types of moves we could get. Energy well. End your turn adjacent to this tile to get plus two backtrack. Use plus one move. Revealed on creation. Okay, so the well will spawn right away, and it'll show us where it is. If we end adjacent to it, we get plus two backtrack, which I imagine is probably, like, the ability to move on tiles that we already did for free. Like, move on tiles that we already had been through. Interesting. Monument enshrines this location. Future hits and saves made from here 
are doubled. Oh, okay. So if we end on there, when we're going to get damaged. Eye of the Storm enshrines this location. Any tile used here in the future will make you hit for one two times. What do you mean? Enshrines this location. Okay. Well, either way, we're going to have to get a random thing. If undrained is drained immediately. That I don't know what that means. Let's go with something that I do kind of know what it means. Okay, so while revealed, plus one when you save. Use it to save for five. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, if we stand by it, we'll reveal it. Gotcha. You get two random traits each game. Remember to check them underneath your player icon and keep them in mind while playing as well as picking new tiles. Avenger, plus one offense when you save. Is this just offense? Okay, so that's just called offense. Start each turn with two backtrack. Lose all backtrack at the end of turn. Backtrack moving over drain tiles. Oh, okay, so using a tile is draining a tile. Okay, all right, okay. I was thinking that there was, con I was going to get confused, but the words are all, you know, they're all interchangeable here, gotcha. Moving over drained tiles will remove backtrack instead of moves if available. Gotcha. So you're going to attack me for seven. I feel like let's try and uh, block there. So we get three moves. That's where I was confused. I thought we had six, but it looks like maybe other characters or other modifiers could get us up to six, but we only have three. So now we obviously want to do a little bit of an attack and get a little bit of a reveal. So we take zero. Shield. Okay, so we've revealed this. Plus one when you save. So we have six shield. Okay, so yeah, as long as it's revealed, I could step on it and uh, save for five, but I, I don't know if draining it removes it from... Oh, shoot. It's not very, not a very effective thing. Uh, draining it removes the passive. So we have two backtrack, one, two. That's... Okay, so that's been used instead. I'm not... So confident we won't take damage here. Wait, we've already got it. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. There's the three. We have three turns to block seven. One, uh, we have we st have two backtracks still. So we got a, there's probably like a really optimal way to move with the backtrack. We could just take one damage and I could just decide that that's fine as well actually get like double hits in but I feel like why would we do that when we could probably get a kill next turn instead I think a little bit more pomp and circumstance when the turn flips over would be a good call but like as far as I, I, I'm gonna tell you right now as far as like an actually novel idea god forbid in uh, <laughs> the road like space it is a novel idea. This is both really familiar and really different. Okay, so I can't get a kill. We have a backtrack for free. I think let's do it. Why Why mess right now? Why mess with it when we can get that? So I am pretty sure, though. So we can do one backtrack. One, two, three. So we will trade blows, though, is the thing. And I don't really want to do that. I don't really think that that's going to be in my best interest. So we have the block. I mean, as long as we do one... Okay, backtrack, backtrack, attack, block. Like, as long as we do something like that, we are going to be fine and we're going to get there. Got him. Got him. Choose two tiles to change. So we never found this one. Enshrines this location. Future hits and saves. So we'd have to find it. Uh, and it looks like... Which, this, this, I'm actually really happy about this, that it is randomized, the location. Let's remove one of each. As you learn what more tiles do, you can begin to work towards more specific tiles and strategies. Your offense and the enemy's offense becomes zero. I'm assuming that's like, if you get, if you activate that. Loot plus one movement 
nearby tiles are transformed into plus one movement dance tiles. Oh, that's kind of cute. Save for four and plus four backtrack. Okay, so four shield and four backtrack on that tile. That's actually really good. Let's move towards the loot. Speed burst. You can shuffle anytime you have two or more moves with a right click or space bar. Oh, really? Wait, but, but it costs two moves? It does say down there, but like... So shuffle, by shuffle, you're saying it will completely reset the board back to full. I don't think that that's uh, of extreme importance at the moment. I think we want to just go up here and make sure we clear up things. Sneak, we can save for four. We don't have the, um, the other thing revealed, so I'm going to save that. So fog doesn't do anything, and it also counts as a... It's not a backtrack. So it's one, two... I mean, there's no point here. I mean, so click the... That, that would use a backtrack, that would use a backtrack, and then using... Going to here would not use a backtrack anymore. Okay. I can't get to a sword, so I think I'm going to go for this, just mostly to reveal. I'm going to do that. All right. Give me a reveal. Okay, swords. Good. I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't love the corner we're putting ourselves in here, but we can go bang. We've got a nice backtrack if we want it. So we could go here. We could backtrack to this save for four get the movement speeds we still have not found our um plus one offense whenever you save we still have not found our flag this is yeah see this is going to the corner is a little bit kind of shaky again really my only critique right now like you know v visuals i've already forgotten you know like we're, we're good we're fine like i the email i knew what i was getting into uh the uh, there should be like i don't know does it need to be somewhere massive should it be like a flash on the screen hell no please no but just like you know just something saying you know it turn switches over now uh would be great so this gives us four backtracks save for four so that's actually really good for us we do this that's one of our moves now we do that we have four backtrack we can relocate to somewhere completely different which I think we might want to... Oh, no! Oh, I clicked to the right there. I think I might want to do WASD instead. That That's on me. So we could do boom, one, reveal. Okay, good. Sword. Looking good, looking good. So you have defense. Gotcha. So that's why that makes sense. Let's get that first, do a little bit of reveal. We can go back up, sword, good. I think that's uh, that's that's murder time. That is indeed murder time. Um, all right, what else do we have? Holding down right click on a tile will show all copies of that tile. Oh, that, I mean, that's convenient. Flintlock pistol, enemy loses eight HP, just straight up. Speed burst on reveal. Ooh, on reveal abilities sound kind of nice. Reveals on creation. While revealed, your next manual shuffle. Manual shuffle costs zero movement speed once per battle. That's kind of nice, too. We could shuffle the board entirely for free once. Copy that. Meteor hit for eight. Drains the target tile. Drains target tile and its adjacent tiles. What do you mean? You mean that it activates them? Like fully draining activating? I can't get over this face. Everything else is just like 
you know, why not? It's, it's all good. It's all fine. The face is hilarious. Uh, becomes a tile that will hit for one per tile traveled. Becomes a tile that will hit for one per tile traveled. And give one movement. Per tile traveled after per tile that you travel after picking it up and give one movement speed. I mean that's pretty interesting. Choose a direction, reveal all tiles farther than in that direction than you? What the hell? The map seems broken. Save for ten, return to the center. I'm actually kind of interested in that. Guillotine, hit for fifteen, cooldown one use. Let's get the home. Just because I want, I want to get to that map. You can move over drain tiles. Doing so with backtrack will use backtrack instead of move. I like this tutorial system. I gotta say, it's it's really out of your face, and you are like, it's letting you do your own run. All right, start with this. Plus one movement nearby tiles are transformed into plus one movement dance tiles. So these are just, they're basically free movement. Hit for 15. You have five armor. Okay, that's why you didn't. Okay, good. So we can go backtrack, backtrack, movement, and we can, these are just free. Like, it does kind of delete the use case of a lot of the stuff there. What was this again? Enshrines this location. Oh, we're taking big damage. Drain your, drain your adjacent tiles at the end of the turn. And try in this location. Future hits and saves made from the here are doubled. I guess I, I need to know what I thought that enshrines just was like something about I don't know. Maybe that location is permanently for this fight. I can't mess with it right now. I need to make sure we don't die. Recall returns us back to the center. Oh, but he... He killed it. Gotcha. Yep, 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 yep. I, I mean, I knew that was coming. And yet... Let's get the shield. Save for four plus four backtrack. I don't really want to do that this second. Okay. So we're still doing a little bit of damage. 10 damage incoming. So we could do backtrack one move, save for four. I don't know where any shields are. We can move over here to this corner for one backtrack, and then we can get all the way over here and know what both of those tiles are. That's a little appealing. I mean, they're shields. Okay, I got four. Hey, yay, 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 yay. This reveals two. Okay, good. Is it. I get shield when I get an attack, or I. Which one? One offense when you save. He's not going to do the attack where he um, blocks everything around me, so I can. I can mess with this. Do I just go for a little bit of damage? I mean, I don't. I guess I don't have a strong reason to not right now. Like, the technical thing that's sort of pushing us forward to make sure we're playing a little bit more aggressively is the fact that the board will run out. Okay, I mean, we're doing damage. Here's the thing. We do damage even just by hitting blocks right now. What's this? Oh. Oh, that's nice. There's some good quality life stuff here. All right, so we got eight block coming in, which means we can just go bop, bop, bop. Doesn't really matter that he's going to drain my tiles because he's going to die. Choose two tiles. I'm just going to continually go for a one and one there. You can press enter to open and close a search option that will filter by tile descriptions. This is most useful once you understand some good combinations and strategies. Secret passage. Plus one movement, save for three. 
Vulcanize if any nearby tiles are drained and Vulcanize is not. Hit for 18. If all nearby tiles are drained and Vulcanize is not, hit for 18. That's pretty nice. Let's get that map, though. Reveal everything further up than you. Using a tile drains it. Some tiles can drain additional tiles as part of their effect. A tile that has an on-drain effect goes off however it gets drained. Gotcha. Okay, so that explains everything about that right there. It is not used. Being drained does not immediately use. Okay, so we have... Save for five... Vulnerable, plus one to hits. Okay, so part of me feels like I just go in on damage then, this turn. Shoot, I was really hoping... <laughs> oh, no. Well, we can backtrack and go to here. I was really hoping there'd be a sword over there. 18 damage, four coming in. Backtrack, backtrack, shield. One, two, three, four. Okay, we got... Uh, okay. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five... Six, wait, oh, God. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I just... I forgot. I forgot what the first number I said was. Necro. Wait, when did I get Necro? Was that my... Uh, was that my random? Hit for X. X is the number of drained tiles. Excluding excludes home and self. Okay, so moving generally in that direction will be a good call. Alright. Uh, the thing is, we got the saves because we have the rally. Rally's really good. And he should be vulnerable this turn. He's not. He's not. Oh, God. Enshrines this location. Future hits and saves made from here are doubled. So is it enshrined something that maybe stays active throughout the run? Also, like, I'm noticing that we could probably tap out going this way and use our rally. I mean, it's still revealed, isn't it? It's still revealed. Whether or not I, I whether or not something can be revealed and tapped and still be counted as revealed is the question. I don't know. Um. Yikes. So we have two backtrack. Go one, two, we could go for four. That gives us four backtrack. One, two. So one, two. One, two, three, four backtrack. Boom. That should work. So if we have six backtrack right now. Holy moly. Also, we, did, we didn't know what this was. All right, yeah, we did. No, we didn't. We revealed up. No, we revealed right. All right. Um, five block. Do we want to go towards the house? I think we want to go here because we can maybe get lucky with him being vulnerable. When are you going to be vulnerable with me, man? Not even do a damage. Ah, uh, oh, no. We painted ourselves into a bit of a corner here. I was really expecting that one of these turns they would become vulnerable. Home, does that give us save? Save for 10. Okay. You know what? Maybe we see what Enshrine does. Yeah, I think that we maybe need to... Um... Okay. Plus one to hits. 10 damage incoming. Just go for a little bit of a defense here. So we have the 25 damage coming out on this one. Oh, wait. 
Lol. Not bad, not bad. So is this permanent? Fog does nothing, double your hit and save. Is that permanent? It seems like it might be. Keep your HP in mind as you get lower, you may need to reach a corner to heal. Oh, on selection, immediately heal 12, minus four per, for every previous heal used, but also adds a fog to your mosaic. Interesting. Battle plan hits caused by target tile will hit for double. We don't need to like continue going off like a snake. Like we can branch off down here or something. Demolish removes enemy defense and hit for three is certainly appealing. Flintlock we could get backstab. If you have zero offense, hit for 14. Ooh, so it's kind of like as an opener. I don't think we have any, like, on drain. On drain. On drain, get four backpack. Backpack, backtrack. On drain, hit for three and save for three. Gotcha, gotcha. Crossroad. Last movement. Last movement, east, west. Save for ten. North, south. Hit for ten. Oh, if this is your last movement, or if your last movement is an east to west move, save for 10, north south. That's very clever. Save for five, move forward for free. Ooh. Wait, I actually really like barrel roll. Repost, hit for five, save for five. That's also incredible. Hardy breakfast, hit for two, save for two, heal for one, plus two backtrack. Hit for two, save for two, heal one, backtrack. It's just a little bit of everything. Just a little bit of everything. Save what damage you can, but pay attention to where you're going and ending your turn as well. Consider how many new tiles a move will reveal. What are you doing? This is, what is this guy doing? I'm scared. So that's 10 for free there. Let's do just lots of reveals. Okay, there's the 15. There's the scary, scary 15. I mean, there's no telling that this is definitely going to be two blocks. Okay, we're good. Or three blocks, rather. So I'm assuming you alternate. Yeah, he alternates. Boop, 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 boop. All in on attack. We're very much just, yeah, shuffling back and forth between offensive, defensive. Arr, nearby tiles are transformed. What's the other option? The other option is we go over there. We could use up our repost. Repost. Just for this. Wouldn't be that big of a deal. Like, yes, it's a good move, but this guy's never attacking and blocking on the same turn anyways. So what's the big idea? You know, let's just, we'll re at that point, we'll just reveal. We can return home, get a good block there. Boink, boink. Oh, we still have, well, we'll just reveal. I, I don't know why I would have done that, I guess. I was just, it was kind of colored me curious, I suppose. Shoot. Well, this reveals three. That's the most likely to find three attacks or uh, an attack there. Good. The enemy queue is in the bottom right. You can click on it to open close the full version. Okay. Okay, so we took 60 damage there, and then we never taken damage since. 
I mean, I just was, I was learning how to freaking play there. Okay, so we got that. I don't know how to deal with that guy. I don't know what that means to me right now, so. Uh, omniscience. Reveal all the tiles. Cooldown one use. That seems important. Are the moves on the edge, like, a little bit spicier? After shuffle, plus one movement for shuffle cooldown. Interesting. Clairvoyance save for seven. Reveal tiles adjacent to the currently visible tiles. That's really nice, too. Save for 40. The center tile is replaced by a lock tile that prevents shuffling. Oh. I mean, I haven't shuffled yet. Black hole, offense, defense, and backtrack set to zero. Movement set to three. Shuffle. So why would we why would we use this? We would use this in the event that we are out of luck and we need a reset. Or I'm assuming a shuffle unreveals things. Like I'm assuming I'm, I'm assuming. I could be wrong there. I don't know if a shuffle recovers everything up. But that's relevant. Touch the world tree, trigger all visible tiles that normally trigger when you end your turn adjacent to them. Cool down, tiles on cooldown, progress one stage of the cooldown. Your offense and the enemy's offense become zero. Let's get the barrel roll though. And the barrel roll is just, it's a free action. More or less. Transforming tiles is generally temporary. They change back when you shuffle. Oh my god. We have a huge hit potentially here. Uh, hit for X. X is the number of drained tiles. So. That's silly. Wait, why do I, why do I have an extra movement? One, two, three. I'm not complaining, but why do I have an extra movement? Did I just like level up and have an extra movement now or something? Okay, barrel. So we just need three. We have two movements left. We're going to get a hit. I mean, the good news is, yeah, we can really get this set up. So if we just... make sure we continue to block here. Do we have a backtrack? We don't. We'll be okay. 14, 1, 2. Less ideal. So backtrack, backtrack of 2. There's no guarantee that this reveals a block. I don't love this corner situation, though. 17. Oh, this was bad. This this was bad. That was bad. There's seven damage coming in now. 13. I want to kill... I, I, I don't even... I don't even get the option to do it, really. It's fine. I didn't even get to do my cool move. I should have tapped it out a little bit earlier. Oh, well. Okay, I took a little bit of damage. It's fine. We have plenty of health. Sure. Searching keywords like drain, drained, or backtrack can show you your options. Good. Yes. Hit for a random amount between 0 and 20. I mean, it's certainly fun. Is there... Um, there's, there's another barrel roll down there. another zombie token down there. I actually really like that. Let's move generally there. Target four tiles. Oh, I wish we could look at that too. Sometimes you need to see what tile was before, what a tile was before it was transformed. You can hover over the magnifier on the bottom right. Okay, seeing this immediately is pretty cool.
Okay, so that guy just gave me one extra movement. That was sort of like their thing, I guess. Okay. Target four tiles, changing them from hidden to reset and revealed. Revealed to drain. From hidden to reset and revealed. Revealed to drained. Or drained to hidden. What the hell? <laughs> okay. I would love to be near... Uh, we don't really need the shield. Be near this. Set herself back up there. Whoa. Boy. Not good. Maybe we just accept... <laughs> Maybe we just accept that that's pretty good there. 4-4 four, four backtrack. I actually think that keeping that around is fine. Four backtrack. It might even be worth a move right now. It'd be one, so we get two, so it'd be one, two, three, four, five. No. Oh. One. We have one, two, three, four, five, six attack. I mean, yeah, we can. We can go anywhere. We'll do that. Doesn't matter. All good. This is very this is very interesting. There are lots of good combos out there. After you recognize some tiles by sight, try thinking of how they would interact with each other. Try ancient sundial and execute. Are they I mean I wonder if they're here. Okay. Recharge plus one move and resets nearby tiles. That seems really just versatile. Stitch in time. Save for nine the next time you shuffle. Not really doing a whole lot of that right now. Hit for four, then hit for four. Um, it's good. It's obviously strong. I actually really like speed burst because I love to backtrack. What can I say? Secret passage is just nice and safe. Plus saving for three. It can save four with rally. And it's just free movement. It's a one to one. Pay attention to the enemy's special effects each turn. Yes, sir. So that block six. Ugh. Should I attack? No. The reason I would do this would be to reveal. So I think we'll literally just back up. I don't think we want to do that right now, so. Attack, attack. Stinky. Okay. Some revealing. Shoot. Uh. If one free backtrack. Not what we wanted. That's something. We, we at least we healed for one, as well. Right. 
So there's a zombie token over here. It's still two. We got this one revealed now, so our blocks are going to be better. We need to get into an okay spot. Well, we can recall. And then what? One, two. Well, yeah, no, that's good. Fine. One recall, recall. Home. Or do we go big? We still have our two recall. We don't know what we're going to reveal over here. It's increasingly less likely it's a guaranteed shield. We've been not adding a ton of defensive stuff. This is the most guaranteed. We want to move towards attacks. Oh, and then we're going to end up right by Serenade. This is actually going to be a really clean turn. Uh, oh my god, loot plus Vulcanize right by each other. Completely disynergistic. Um, so next turn is attacking. So we have 18... Theoretically, we have lethal. We do indeed. And we also, yeah, we have extra lethal because we got the plus one from every defend as well. As you start forming plans and looking farther out for tiles, remember your traits. For example, a trait that gives plus one each hit works well with tiles. That, yeah, like the flurry tiles. Gotcha. Like the double swings, etc., etc. Tether, drain, tether, drain charges. What? Use plus one movement. Drain. Oh, if it gets drained, it charges. If you use it, plus one movement. If charged, it removes you. It returns you to the center. Okay. I wanted recharge. Try replacing just... Oh, what the hell is this? Try replacing just swords early on. You need a critical mass of save tiles so they're available when you need them. You'll need an attack plan too. Well, hey, you know. What are you going to do? So what do we get? We got secret passage. We almost have full block already. Visible end adjacent to this tile lose 10 defense interesting so i think we want to okay do we have a backtrack we have we have lots of backtrack one two three one two three four just get lots of reveals okay 12 only three movement. I really love the idea of triple blocking and only triple blocking. Okay. That's that's not great either. Yeah, we, we've run into a little bit of a situation now. We're kind of at the spot where synergy would have would uh, need to be required here. Because we can't do that. All right, okay. Serenade is certainly interesting here. Move up. 69 health still. This necromancy is going to be like our big pop-off. Okay. Moving around there is going to be free. Is there anything troll hole visible? Okay, so if I touch it, is it no longer visible? 
We only have two backtrack. This is not the best situation. Attack. Yeah, that was kind of the concern. We're not really even going to get anything done here. Oof. We're getting lots of reveals. Are you getting, like, slowly weaker and weaker over the course of time? Is that, like, what I'm picking up here? Hmm. Two back spaces. I'm in a pickle. Could be here with two back spaces. I don't know if I how I feel about this one right here. Blah. I don't really want to tap out on necromancy quite yet. I also don't love this, but I'm gonna waste a movement doing this. Okay, we finally got Rally revealed, which is a pretty integral moment for us. There, nice. Repost giving us that extra damage. 13. Yeah, we just gotta cut our losses to an extent. Boom, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, shield. One, two, three, four, shield. We're not really doing much of damage here, so we gotta tap out and do a kill at some point. But they're just absolutely going wild here. We have necromancy. I don't know where my second one is, but I'm going to I'm going to want it. Two back try. This is not Oh, this is not good. Oh no, it's really not good. Ooh. Guillotine cools out. We could I don't want to really tap out rally. I don't know where my other necromancy is. This is this one is brutal by comparison. It's constant high numbers here. Got the 29. That's really appealing. There's another one hidden around here. Ay, ay, ay. Boo. Maybe I can do a little bit of action now. Maybe I take maybe I take the five so that I finally do something. Or wait, I'm not gonna be doing damage anyways. We could hit with the 32 finally. We could move 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 down bang. Just to kind of reveal it. One, two, three, four. We can't do that. Wait, actually we could. Wait, one, two, three, four. One, two, no. Cost one, cost one, cost one. We can't go all the way around and then go to Serenade. It's not going to work. I do feel like we could probably step on the troll holes and it'd be fine, but like it's also a waste of a turn. Your offense and the enemy's offense becomes zero. Okay. Yeah. All right, what do you got? It's... God. All right. Yeah, there's the 16. There's just no There's no letting up from them. I thought that there maybe was like a, a turn where it'd be okay, but no, it's just kind of... It's, this one's brutal. No two ways about it. I don't even know where the other necromancy is, so I'm going to be in a situation where I feel like I have to look around my whole map. Just to try and find it. And that's not good. 
Okay, that resets the home. That that is good. Okay, six damage. Still gonna come in here. Oh my God, you're doing. You're just doing sixteen no matter what, huh? That just, just every. You're gonna sneeze and do seven, or sixteen damage. Target four tiles. Changing them from hidden to reset and revealed. Revealed to drained. I mean, I could do that on this, but, like, it's also a waste of a turn. We could go move, move, move. We could get right here. Pretty quickly. But what are we gaining in that? I, I'm also, like, it's 16, and then I have 16 minus as well. Like, on top of it. On top of it, I also have a negative 16. This is looking like some guaranteed damage for our current setup. I think that we aren't really going to find... I don't think we're going to find a turn that's good. We've used up most of our defensive tiles. And I can't really get anywhere else. Well. Oh, you can't wait. You have to, you have to move. Oh, that's no good. That's no good. You know? There's that. I thought I never bought the second necromancy tile. Well, that, that explains that. Okay, that helps. One, two. I'm de I'm I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I I've just got the ability to kill you too. I'm taking you down with me! Good. Consolations defeat is at hand. Press space to right click to the turn of the menu. Alright. We also got an pass. What is this about? Is this just my pass run? Yeah, fifth uh, yeah. Zero 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 seven zero two fifty. That guy sucks, man. Alright, what do we get to open? We have one token. They all cost two tokens to unlock. Okay. I think these are just like... Uh, oh. I think these are just um, like different little visuals or something that you can get. I, I believe, I believe. Can we get a, can we get a <laughs> Retromation Red Hoodie in another, <laughs> in another thing? Can we get a little Red Hoodie token in here? Uh... But hey, alas, this game is really fun. I I really really like it. That that enemy uh, can bite me because he's just what's what's his gimmick? He's very very strong. I. Uh, but hey, we could have we could have probably been stronger at that point. I am curious. Rarely is it worth it to replace a non-basic tile, even if it doesn't seem good with your strategy. It might become good later. So yeah, this was what I wanted to see. We have new abilities. Is it like random? What are these anchors? Start with four anchor tiles. Drums tile. Drums tile removed. On transform. Plus one movement. Oh, that's kind of neat. Aggressive. If you reach 15 offense in a turn, you get plus one movement. Oh, now this is a... Okay, well, I can't... That's okay. That's really interesting. But do you get to pick a character, or is it random? Oops, not what I want to do. Oh, we have to hold. Backtrack over a lot more tile options. Generally, it will save you considerable HP if you have some. Yeah, it seems like they're random. That's an interesting choice. 
that's an interesting choice. On one hand, I really like it. On one hand, I'm confused. But on uh, truly, though, I do think I think it's fun. I think it's a fun idea to have the base be default. Bog tiles grant a backtrack on reveal. Start with a tumble tile and a fortify tile. All right. Very, very neat. Very, very neat. I, uh, yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more of Madcap Mosaic. I would, I would, I'd be convinced to play more for sure. Uh, consider picking it up for yourself. It is out now on Steam. It's currently, I believe it's currently on sale for $6. I don't know. I think I really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. I could see it being a, a nice, deep little thing to play around with. Uh, I hope, and I believe it will hopefully continue to get some kinds of updates and things like that to get new uh, new cards, new things like that added to the game. It's yeah, it's, it's almost misleading to even call it a deck builder, but it's like, it's the closest thing to it, I guess. It's a tile builder. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a, I don't know. It's a, it's a differently presented deck builder. It's like a dungeon builder, but the dungeon's also your deck. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, weird to explain and very, very neat. Mechanically interesting. Uh, I hope that maybe like some of the monsters get more exciting designs uh, as far as like what abilities they have. For example, like how the troll, this song I don't like as much as the others. Um, the troll had the little areas where he made the caverns. I think that was that was a fun implementation of what the game does well. Uh, and it uses the mechanics of the game to create enemy unique enemy attacks. Uh, I think more of that is a good idea. Like maybe being a bigger focus on what to do uh, with future updates would probably be that. Like, make more enemies and have them utilize that kind of element. Um, not exactly that element, but that kind of element. I think that that is really smart, really clever. I think it's a good call. Uh, but alas, alas, that's that. That's gonna do it for today. This has been Madcap Mosaic. I'm pleasantly pleased. I'm very surprised. I was gonna say surprised, but honestly, I kind of... I can. I have a radar where I look at something I'm like, that's weird in the way that I'm gonna like. <laughs> and I kind of got that with this game. Um, but alas, there's a link at the top description if you want to pick it up for yourself, and I highly recommend you do so if it looked fun for you here today. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of different characters that you can play around with, the different randomized elements. Uh, very interesting. Give it a look. Thank you, thank you. Check the channel. Roll like some more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye!